Hello subscribers and YouTube watchers, this is Vips from SlideNerd over here. If you are seeing this video at this point, please give yourself a big pat on your back because we have come all the way from white screen on this uh, emulator to this complete black screen. Right now we are going to put some colors, change some font sizes and do some extra uh, user, user interface stuff. So let's go and do that. The first thing we need to do probably is to get these buttons to be black in color, right? It's probably gray in color, if you notice. Let's do that with the help of a style. Now remember, for each of these buttons, giving text color is black, text color is black, copy pasting that everywhere doesn't look good because we need to change the color, then we'll have to change it everywhere. So best is to use a style over here. I'm gonna go to the left side and show you how to make a style. So if you go here, style is just like your CSS, if you guys are from an HTML CSS background. So let me actually show that. If you go to your values over here, there is something called styles.xml. Let me open that file for you guys. Here, if I go to my styles.xml, there are already some stuff defined over here. Don't worry about that. We'll make our own style by saying style. The first thing we need to give it a name. Mm, we'll call it Gangnam Style. Sounds like a good name. Yep. So here, this is our Gangnam Style. There is no need for parent and stuff. Here, what we need to do is we need to define what properties this style should have. For example, when I apply this style to these buttons, I want all of them to be dark gray in color. For that, I'm going to use an item tag over here. I'm going to call a name over here. And I'm going to call Android text color. Text color should be, I think, I'm not sure how gray that is, but probably 444. I'm not sure about this. So now what we can do is we can simply apply this style to one of our buttons and check if that's the case we want. And again for the text, oh sorry, wait a second. What am I doing? Text color is white, guys. Oops. Text color should be FFF, that's the white color we have. For the background color, I'm gonna say Android background. The background color should be 444. And then again, the text size should be bigger. We'll see about that. But for now, let's just experiment with these two things. Actually, let's the text size as well. So if I say Android text size over here, if you remember, the value should be in scaled pixels. I'm gonna probably put some 25 SP over here. I'm not sure what the value should be. So let's go to our activity slide cal.xml, which is our layout here and go to our one of the buttons probably the sign button is the one which i would like to experiment first over here so here for the sign button i'm going to apply this style by saying style over here at the rate style and then if you see our gangnam style is visible right here select the gangnam style over here and let's go to the, the graphical layout and see how that looks hash 35 sp is not a valid format oops sorry about that there's no hash over here it's just 35 sp 25 sp let's see how that looks here okay that looks a bit big Probably 30 SP should look good enough. Again, this is all visual, remember? Okay, now that looks great. Now we need to copy the same style to all these 10 buttons. So let me apply the same style attribute to all the 10 buttons over here that we have inside our uh, XML file in the layout. Okay, so at this point in the code, I've applied the style Gangnam style to all the 10 buttons that we have over here in the two rows. Let's go and see how that looks in the graphical layout. And bam, there you go. That looks almost close to what we need, probably a little darker. So let me go to the styles.xml and put 333 three, three in place of 444. Four, four, and that should give a darker color. Okay, now that looks pretty much close. We have some black colored lines over here. We'll see how to do that. Don't worry about it. And then for these buttons again, the division, the left bracket, cross, and the right bracket, minus, plus, equals, they have the same theme. If you guys see, that's the same style we have. Probably with a different font size because they look bigger. So let me go and make another style here. Copy paste the same style. Okay, now I renamed it in a bad spelling. It's gang name style. It should be Gangnam style. But here I'll make it two over here. And for the same thing, I want for these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. I need the same text color. I need the same background, but the text size should be probably 35 SP. And now let me go and apply that to those buttons. Division, multiply, and the others, others which we saw over here. Let's go to the code over here. So let's go and see how that looks in the graphical layout now. And bam, there you go guys. That looks pretty good, but still we need a bigger font size. Alright, so now you guys can see that's pretty close to what we want, right? And now we need to change the colors of these buttons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They probably use a different style because their background color is different. So all these uh, 10 buttons will have a common, uh, what you call, style. So let me go and make another one over here. I'll call this Gangnam Light. For the text color, that's the same thing for the background color. However, things are much brighter. I'll call 666 for the values. And for the text size, again, I'm going to give... Uh, the same 45 SP because these two seem to have the same size. So let's go and do that here in the activity and apply the styles to those buttons as well. 7, 8, 9, 1, 4, 5, 6, right? So here we come. So at this point, I've applied the right style to all these 10 to 11 buttons you see over here. Let's me go to the graphical layout and see how that looks. Okay, that's great. You guys can see that. We probably need this black, uh, what you call, lines between. We'll bring that. Don't worry about it too much. 
let me go ahead change the colors of everything to black you can see this all this green red weird blue color things come up it's because of the layouts over there so let me go and change the colors of everything over here every linear layout to black and let's see what happens all right so at this point i believe every linear layout has black color let me go to the graphical layout i know what you guys are thinking bam that's almost what we want over here we still need to make some minor tweaks remove this green color for some reason i don't know where it's coming from it must be that edit text okay now here is a big green box which also needs to be back but before we do that let's go and change some things you guys notice there is a nice uh, margin over here on both sides for the edit text from above below everywhere right so let's give a margin of 30 dp for the edit text or maybe for the linear layout for that case and let's see what happens if i say margin over here say 30 dp from all sides okay you guys can see something now that's 30 dp nicely maybe 40 dp should do good but i think these and this side are aligned on both sides so we'll keep it 30 as it is again as i told you you should have kept this in the diamonds.xml file then it would have been easier to tweak the values and inside this uh what you call linear layout a green one we need to make sure that this button and this edit text are actually come somewhere in the center give them gravity perhaps we can probably arrange the content in the center by using layout gravity instead I've given the layout gravity of center to both the edit text and the button over here so that they appear exactly at the center of the screen right so that should look pretty good and for the ratio i think the button is a bit bigger i don't know what ratio i've given over here one is two uh, for the layout weight that is one and what's the layout weight over here so at this point let me go and change the color of the linear layout from green to black and see how this looks this is probably our final look i built i bet well pretty close but this button still needs to have a better ratio it's 12 is to 1 is not good enough probably 14 is to 1 should do it let me take a look now okay that looks good let me stretch the height of the button to match parent all right so for the layout that is the linear layout which we had which was a green box i've given a padding of 30 dp over here so that should look pretty good as you can see over here it looks almost close probably 40 dp would make it look even better okay now this looks pretty close to what we have over here except for this uh, black colored marks which we are missing out here that's probably uh, margins go and find that out now we have to give the padding and the margin from here but then let's just try it on one button first and see how that looks i think we have to give a margin of 2 dp for each button so that we have that black lines coming in between so if i take this button over here which is sign i'm gonna give this a margin of 2 dp we can't do this in the style i tried it out layout margin 2 dp let's see how that looks inside a graphical layout okay now we see this orange line now where is that orange line coming from it's from this color background 0 0 0 should give the black color so now you guys can see those lines appear because we have given this button a margin let's do the margin for all the buttons and then you guys can see the final effect of our user interface so at this point i have given a margin to every button in our user interface let me go to the graphical layout and take a look and bam there you go guys that's our user interface that we have been uh, trying to make so far from scratch we have made the entire user interface there still need to be a lot of modifications made because for example this button needs an icon and you'll have to make this for the portrait uh, mode as well but well we are complete completely done through this with only linear layouts so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day